Welcome back to Yoga with Sarah Ford. I'm Sarah Ford and today in our beginner series we are going to look at the low lunge. So we're going to get right into it. The way we're going to get into it, there are different ways to do it. We're going to start in our forward fold at the top of our mat. Then our body hang over. And the way to get into this pose from here is we keep our hands on either side of our feet and we're going to step our left foot to the back of the mat. So we're in this low runner's lunge and we're going to drop our back knee. And it's your choice if you want to keep the toes tucked. Sometimes that provides more of a stable sensation or you can untuck it whatever feels good for you. So. We want to make sure that our front foot is aligned with our knee so that our knee isn't pushing too far forward past the ankle. We want it still aligned with our ankle. And even here you might already feel the stretch. So it's our legs are engaged but our hips are sinking down and it's giving this nice opening right here in the hip flexors. And at any point you can always introduce blocks to this to help give a little more of a lifted sensation and to help with the stretch. You can also place a blanket underneath your knee to add some more cushioning there if you ever need that. So we're doing this lunge right here. We have our hands at our sides, which provides a more stable stretch and we have more control over it. To take it to the next point, we can engage our core and start to Lift our hands, we can bring our hands to our thigh if we want. And already gravity is working really hard to pull the thigh, to pull the hips down. And to get into the full expression, we can inhale the arms up to the sky. And so we're thinking about our whole body lengthening up as our hips sink lower. And it's this opposing force that really opens up the body. And to take this even further, Making sure our core is engaged, we can start to slowly go into a mini back bend. So reaching our arms backward behind us, making sure our front foot is still planted into the earth. And then inhale coming up. To get out, you just exhale, release the hands, and then transition into whatever pose comes after that. So that is the low lunge. There are props and blankets that you can use to add extra cushion to help open up the stretch a little bit more gently. This is a great way to open up the hips, strengthen the core a bit, find some core stability, and also strengthen your legs and your thighs. So I hope you enjoy that. Try that out today to see how open your hips get throughout the week by practicing this daily. And you can always find me on Instagram at Yoga with Sarah Ford and my classes online or linked in the, in the description below. And I will see you next week with a new pose. Have a great week and namaste.